Hey guys, my name is Gloria and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do the mid-year freakout book tag. I should have done it a couple weeks ago in June probably, but it's really freaking warm, even in the ocean for some reason, but let's not think about that. So this, um, I think this has been going around Bookshop for a, quite a while, I'm not sure who did it originally, but this time around I saw it on Alex's The Bookubus channel uh, and she had some interesting um, answers, so I thought I would give it a go. Uh, there are 15 questions and it is related to the books I've read so far and the books that I am hoping to read. So let's get into the questions, which I will link down below as well. Uh, I will also have um, affiliate links for any of the books that I mentioned, so if you feel like you want to grab those, um, you can find links for those down below. So the first question is the best book that you've read in 2021 so far. Um, I'm just trying to think how many books I've actually read. I think I've read about 42 this year. I'm not sure exactly on that, but uh, I'll put it up on the screen if I have it. But the one that stood out for me when I was going through the list of all the books I've read so far was definitely uh, The Plague Stones by James Brogdon and I just uh, bought the sequel I think as well or another one in that sort of series because I enjoyed his writing so much and I enjoyed that story so much so I think of all of the the ones that I read this year that one was definitely like an all-round five stars for me I really liked that one the second question is the best sequel that you read in 2021. The best and only <laughs> sequel that I read was Folklore uh, which is the second tale technically a sequel, uh, by Chris Rush, who is an Irish writer. Uh, this one is, I think there's a series sort of based on Irish folklore and creepy stories. Uh, the one I read before was about the Banshee and this one is about the fairy folk, the fair folk, and um, trying to steal children, which is one of their favourite hobbies. So quite a creep fest for that one. The next question is a new release that you are looking forward to reading but haven't read yet and for me it's one that I have bought but I haven't read yet and I've seen so many people talking about it uh, especially Erin Megan I think she was the first one to mention it it is called Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Chris LaRocca uh, second name LaRocca anyway it seems like a, a short novella about 100 pages and the tagline people keep using that is really drawing me in is um, what have you done today to deserve your eyes which is a question for sure um, but one that definitely uh, draws me in so I'm I'm excited to see what that one is there's been some yays and nays about that one but um, so far I'm seeing mostly yays so I'm going to look forward to reading that one. The next question is most anticipated release of the second half of the year. I need to get better, this question made me realise that I need to get better at um, looking forward to new releases and stuff. I kind of just grab books as they come up in front of me. Lydia over at Typical Books is always doing videos on upcoming releases and stuff so I, I need to catch up on um, some of her new release videos. I just joined her Patreon as well, you should check that out, um, where I think she has a podcast where she talks about new releases and stuff so uh, I definitely need to do that but I did a quick google and I found a book that looked very interesting. It is called Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I've seen a lot of talk um, about Riley Sager before on other channels. I don't know if it was just for YA books. This one doesn't seem like a YA book, I'm not sure, but it seems like a creepy thriller of a girl sort of trapped on a lo long car journey with this man who seems increasingly strange and weird and dangerous and uh, it's only really interesting. So I'm definitely gonna pick that one up for the second half of the year. The next question is, the biggest disappointment of the year so far and unfortunately for me this was Fledgling by Octavia E. Butler. 
This was a vampire novel that I read for Women in Horror Month slash Black History Month. Um, and it just didn't, didn't hit the mark for me. Uh, it was quite bland, kind of everything was sort of this lovely utopian idea of um, vampires living together with humans and stuff and it just was all a bit too lovey-dovey um, and perfect for me. Um, so that one was kind of a disappointment for me. That was my first Butler novel. I'll definitely read more of her in the future but that one just wasn't for me. And the next question after that is the biggest surprise. And the biggest surprise for me was actually uh, They All Died Screaming by an author who has a name. This one was a surprise for me because it was an extreme horror novel. Uh, it's quite gruesome, graphic, sexual, um, which are things that I normally would stay away from as a general rule and not things I enjoyed but this one I really enjoyed it. It was very well written. It didn't for me seem like the violence and the sex and the gross weirdness was just there for shock value. It did really relate to the characters and really sort of beef up, beef up their backgrounds and give them you know more more layers and more depth to them and the story as a whole had quite a few different interesting themes and interesting layers to it as well. Um, so that one really surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like an extreme horror book as much as I did that one. The next question is your new favourite author which can be a new author with a debut novel or just an author you haven't read before and for me just Going back to my favourite book so far, uh, it would be James Brogdon. I, I really enjoy his writing and I'm looking forward to getting into a lot more of his books, whatever ones I can find. The next two uh, I have the same answer for. Your newest fictional crush and your favourite character. Uh, I don't really have crushes anymore. I mean, I did when I was a teenager, but um, like on fictional characters, but uh, this, this had to be done when I was looking through the list. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna have an answer for this, but then I saw it. So my answer for this would be Abigail Jacobs, who is in The Suicide Lake by another author with a name. Really enjoyed her character. She, this is the second in a series and she is a grown up. She was a child in the first one. She's a grown up in this one. She is an independent woman at a time when women weren't really supposed to be independent, she's practicing witchy things, she is sexual when she wants to be sexual, she is not afraid to punch a man in the mouth and and I just think she's fantastic, I love her energy, I love her, her morals and her depth and uh, it's a really great book as well. The next question is a book that made you cry. I don't tend to cry at books. Um, I don't know. Recommend a book that would make me cry. Unless it's got dead dogs in it because that's just going to make me a serial killer. But the one that was closest and made me really sad um, was a recent one that I read. It was a short story collection and the very last story um, was about this guy just going through his life trying to find love and constantly being rejected by everyone around him because he has physical deformities. But the, the title of the story here, um, uh, the book was called The Torture We Adore and that one just really has an end to such a sort of gross out graphic sexual book and then that to end on was just uh, really heartbreaking for me so that was quite sad but didn't cry but you know if I'd had a few glasses of wine, maybe I would have cried. Question number 11 um, is book that made you happy. So Alex mentioned this as well. When you read horror, it's kind of weird to say that uh, a horrific book where people got murdered or possessed made you happy. However, one that made me laugh was uh, the collection A Disgusting Supermarket of Death by James 
Harberson. I kept pronouncing his name wrong in the video, but that one, um, while it had some very disgusting <laughs> stories in it, uh, it also really made me laugh and had some great sort of twists and little ironic bits in some of the stories. So um, yeah, that made me smile, definitely. Question number 12 is favorite book adaptation movie that you've seen this year. I've been watching a lot of movies, but I don't, I went through the, I have a letterbox and I went through all the ones that I've seen. Um, I haven't re uh, watched any movie adaptations of books this year. So if anyone has any, I mean, I rewatched Lord of the Rings, I guess that counts. But if anyone has any good movie recommendations, always send them my way. I'm always looking for more movies to watch, but um, I don't have an answer for this because I haven't actually, I've watched plenty of movies, but none that I know were um, originally books. The next question is, your favourite video that you have made this this far in the year on your channel. So I could have picked my most popular videos for this but I went for a different route and went for ones that I'm sort of proud of making. I don't want to... proud for my own reason. So my first... I have two videos. One of them is the masterclass where I reviewed Neil Gaiman's masterclass. The reason for that is because it was a step towards writing again. Um, I was kind of been in a writing slump and um, that was sort of sort of a jump back into writing and to getting something done and to getting back into the creative thinking of a writer and I will be doing um, another one of those very soon. Uh, in the next couple of weeks and the next one was also uh, my video on tips on how to do booktube when you have anxiety. Um, it, ha it doesn't have a lot of views but I feel like I'm hoping that someone out there will need that at some point and they will find some tips or just motivation and encouragement in that video when they need it. So yeah I'm kind of I'm I'm glad I did those videos even though I didn't get the most attention or whatever. Uh, I'm definitely glad that I made them. The next question is the most beautiful book that you uh, bought or received this year. One of the problems with this is that a lot of my books are stacked up behind me and I don't want to grab them. Although you can see Uzumaki here which I haven't read yet. Quite pretty. I always talk about this little creepy guy um, and the lovely creepy artworks in it and of course it is a manga so it's got some fantastic artwork on the inside as well um, so that is quite pretty. I also got another one that I thought the cover was really nice of um, Taunting of Alma something um, but I'll put a picture up here I got it in uh, one of the book boxes and I just thought the, the cover was really nice on that one so that one was quite good looking as well. The next question is what books do you have to read before the end of the year? Um, well, so yeah in an ideal world I would read all of these. I actually, I should have counted them when I was making this. This I didn't mention this at the start of the video. I made a video recently of changing my background. Um, I'll link it above if you want to see it. And then immediately made a video afterwards where I did not film in front of that background. So yay me. But uh, these are all the books on my physical TBR that I moved from my trolley over here. I thought it would make kind of a cool background and will also motivate me to actually read some of these books. Um, so hopefully by the end of the year you'll start to see this dwindling and uh, some of these books will be gone off my list. For some solid ones that I really want to read, I need to stop talking about Uzumaki so I'm gonna read it. Um, I also want to read The Stand and Under the Dome by Stephen King, Have My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix and Horror Store which is in that corner somewhere and also 
quite a few of the book box books hopefully I can get through those and lastly I have the three of James Herbert and his Ash series so if by some miracle uh, I was able to get through all of those I would still have a load of books back here but I think that would be a pretty good end to the year and I think it would definitely get me up to my reading goal as well so yes that is uh that's something to work towards at least. So thank you so much for joining me for this book tag. Uh, let me know down below if uh, you have any interesting answers to these questions, if you've read anything really cool so far this year, or if you have any new releases coming up that you think I might like, I would definitely like to know about them. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked what I'm doing here, you can like and subscribe down below and I shall see you in the next video.